You all listened, and we listened. Wait. What's goody fellas and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Recruiting Wars. Now the reason that we're on the main menu and not on any kind of loading screen or things like that is because we listened to you guys. Yes, we actually do listen. It's unbelievable. It is, right? What's up, Nitro? How are you doing? Hey, doing swell, man. Looking forward to getting my revenge. Awesome. See, like I was saying, the reason we're on the main menu is because we have an even playing field today. Right now, Nitro Drive is loaded up where we started the last episode. He's going to scroll through the conferences. He's going to scroll through the team. Send me the dynasty file, and that way we both have to use the same team in the same class. Remember that this is a collab and Nitro Drive's link will be the top one in the description. You will want to see both perspectives. All right, let's do this thing. I'm strolling as fast as I can. Three, two, one, and... Oh, Krell. What is it? I feel the Mac. It's very close to the Mac. It is one letter different. We are going to the Mountain West Conference. Oh, that'll be good. I like that. Okay. Three, two, one, and... <laughs> got to be either Boise, but more than likely, it's got to be New Mexico. Mate. We are using New Mexico. <laughs> I knew it, bro. As soon as I heard that, I was like, bro, it's got to be one star New Mexico Lobos. It has to be. Why is the head coach called Crow Socks? Why not? <laughs> well, I mean, I guess. I guess. I needed a first name, last name. It was actually a randomly generated name, believe it or not. <laughs> cool. We're going to do three scouting, three closer, three opener, two royal treatment, one locksmith, and three kitchen sinks because you never know. What if Barcavius locks me out and I need him? You know what I mean? I'm going to do the same thing except for one locksmith. I'm doing one letter of intent. That really came in clutch last time. You never know what's going to happen. Another thing to mention, everyone, is we are using Fang's Recruiting Generator, which adds a lot of different changes and kind of revamps, per se. Yo, do you see how much shit that we need, bro? Fullback. Ah. Oh. Our best player is a 79 overall. Wait, really? <laughs> Not for me. My best okay. play is 88. I was just checking on the team needs screen. That's probably why. Let me just clarify. So this is the same class. As soon as we deafen and I go into all prospects, we've got the exact same class. We're not going to know who each other's going after. Are we only doing interested players for the first? Now that it's an even playing field, there's no reason to go after interest. We could just go after whoever we want. This is where Absolutely, strategy kicks I agree. in. We should do yeah, that. yeah, yeah, for sure. All right. I'm going to mute you because you're annoying me. We do want to secure some people early on. So I think the three star guys are going to come in huge here. We don't need three running backs. So I'm not going to cheese it like that. This guy's 50. He's gone. Three star tight end. I think that's awesome. Three star tackle. We'll take that. Don't need more running backs. Can you please stop offering me running backs? But now that we have 10 prospects and it, I don't think we're going to have the greatest chance in the world to secure these fifth interest guys. I think this is where I'm going to go straight down and get a head start on some of the best players in the class. Because we only can scout 20 people at a time, I typically like to start my board with just the 20, if that makes sense. We'll take off the ninth guy and we'll throw it on, not the running back, not the other tight end. Let's throw it on the strong safety here. So there is a chance that any one of these 10 top 10 guys in the class could be uh, interested. They could be low lock cheese. You never know. This guy's 86, by the way. What the hell? But I need every single advantage I can get, especially since we're one star and we're going up against LSU, Georgia, and Bama, etc. You kind of catch my drift here. Yes, I probably will cut them, like, if they're in the 50s or something like that. I just don't, can't see myself being committed to it. Oh, this must be an edited class. Bro, are you kidding me? Oh my, Brenda Harrison is a 90? This is what Nitro was saying about, uh, a fangs class or something where it's like there's boosted guy i didn't even know about this in ge genuine honesty i am baffled okay so i'm really glad i went with this strategy could you imagine if we picked up 90 overall brent harrison i think the chance that we get him is absolutely impossible i think it would be very very interesting that's where we're starting off right now i'm gonna go hassle nitro because it is my funnest thing to do i'm gonna wait here Hey, man, the stakes are high. You got to take a little bit more time. I, you got to be methodical. It's like cooking a good meal. You don't want the person that's going to plop it in the microwave and call it good. You want the fine-tuned four-course meal. Available at HelloFresh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Start season. All right, so it is week right. one, and it is time for recruiting. We are ready to get into it. We have our boards. I mean, imagine Legion's probably got 100 people on his board, or he hacked the game or something. But are you ready to get into it? 
I'm absolutely ready. All right, well, let's do this then. All right, so first things first, we have to go after the hood rats, right? This is what these players are going to be known as, is the hood rats. Our goal is to sign as many hood rats as humanly possible. You can see the bonus is uh, amazing. It says that we have a 315 bonus, so I'm just gonna go ahead and slap about 400 on him. The thing is, right, I'm playing this super risky. Like, I would rather win tremendously or not at all. I don't want no tight win, no, I just edged you out, but there's a case for both. No, I wanna flood you, bro. I don't think we're gonna get any of these guys, none at all, but I'm going to go after the ones with the biggest bonus, especially those 90 overalls above the top. So 130 bonus on Danny Brown, let's go after it. I Right now, realistically, I should be securing the crappier players, the hood rats like we're talking about, but no, I need the biggest head start that I could possibly get. 135 bonus on David Jones, we have another Another one here on JT Brown. I'm just hoping that one of these guys at least is uh, we're gonna be able to pick him up. That's the game plan. For now, let's go 700 Matt Campbell. The biggest bonuses are here, so let's go like say 250. And we already have the lead. Uh, this is kind of tricky though. I think I'm actually gonna go a hundred a piece into both of these guys right here. But other than that, this is kind of what we're rocking with. It is very early on again. I just want the big name prospects. I want to come out of this with like the 86 and that. I've never seen this before. This 86. Never seen it. Next time we recruit is low lock cheese anyway. So I think we should be good regardless. Throw 700 on, cause why not? <laughs> All right, week three, it's time for low lock cheese. Let's get into it. All right, so Matt Campbell, Baylor has been a little bit of a problem, but we are gaining. We got an overwhelming lead on Morris Hines. So we, that means we could probably drop that down to 200. Overwhelming lead on Mike Foster. This is beautiful. We need to try and maximize our points here as much as possible. George Strong, not worth it. 60 overall, not going to compete. Okay, so there's no chance Michael Bailey signs with us. Fair enough. No chance we get Luke Thompson. These are the good guys. David Joe, look at this. I knew it. I, if I could just get one of them, I was going to do it. We also got the lead on JT Brown. I don't think by any means that we're going to secure any of these guys, but it's really, really, really good to see that we have the lead on them nonetheless. That is awesome news. We have about pretty much half our points left. Low lock cheese is a big one. An athlete will take it. We'll take the safeties because one of them could go to free safety. We don't haven't even gotten a receiver yet, so that would help. We'll take a punter though. I mean, he's 80. Three star is like the best punter you can get. Who knows, he might be a goon. I would like to get some offensive linemen here too because we had to cut a lot of those. But let's go George Moss, 605 squad. He might be a 70, give or take. Doesn't seem to be a lot of five stars in low lock. In fact, there hasn't been a singular five star yet. And we're going to have to implement a pretty interesting strategy here as well because you got to remember that we are not allowed. Like scouting, I think, is like a necessity. But the thing is, from week three, we go right to week seven. We don't really have those in-between weeks like you normally would in a dynasty. So we have to waste a lot of points here. Oh, this is a lot of points going down the drain. I don't know if I like this. Okay, so we have, what, 2,700 left? Because they have NA on them right now, that means that, like, we can't even recruit them. This is the issue that I was talking about. Once we do sign these guys right here, the computer is going to redistribute these points, reallocate them into these players here. The only strategy that we can take from here is to put the highest bonuses at the top. So that way, once we do sign those players, the computer goes after the people with the most likelihood, the biggest chance of signing with the team. All right, it's all done. This may not be in regards to how good the players are or not the order that I want them in. It's literally just filtered by bonus. The way I think it's gonna go down is the computer will sign the people at the top, then go ahead and put 700 into Justin Sharp and 700 into Brandon Robinson and 700 into Greg Martin, et cetera, et cetera. That's the only strategy I can really go with right now. We can't even bring anybody in for visits. I'm actually gonna bring David Jones and JT Brown to the top as well because they are obviously our two biggest prospects that we want the most. And this is the thing as well, you gotta remember, we just went to low lock cheese and everybody was a four star, but if you look, we got the head start on these two and they're both five stars. So unless Nitro went with the same strategy as us, he might not be in a good spot right now, not even gonna lie. I mean, David Jones is a quarterback, he's a running back, he's a receiver. And uh, so is JT Brown. He's actually a cornerback, a quarterback. Just awesome. So either way, no matter which one of them we get, we are in a good spot. I'm liking this uh, this board so far. We're doing the most with what we have been provided with. How's your board looking so far? Because I won't lie, man. Like, 
I got off to a really, really good start. Uh, I got off to a really, really bad start, actually. I went with a different strategy today, oh, which man. is kind of full sense. So I'm either going to get destroyed pretty badly, or I'm going to win, <laughs> like, pretty significantly. So I'm a little bit worried, not going to lie. I'm wow. definitely playing from behind right now. I know that for a fact. All right, <laughs> that's pretty trash. I'm not going to lie, but whatever. <laughs> I haven't even gotten through yet. Let me get there and oh, see what I'm looking bad. like. <laughs> I got two prospects that were high up on my board. Damn. Life is good. All right, let's do this. I need to come back. So what the bloody hell is going on right now? We have the lead on JT. We have an overwhelming lead on David Jones. That's good. So our two five-star prospects are uh, looking really good right now. Of course, now we have the ability to bring people in for visits, which is awesome. I kind of want to smack that out as early as humanly possible. So let's bring everybody in on this Utah State week. I'm going to keep the 700 on them. I need them. Matt Campbell, bro, I'm investing so much into you, and I kind of feel like it's not worth it at this point. Same with a lot of these guys. Like, how am I competing this much for literal dog water? So I also know the strategy the Legion went with as well. See how we went after the top guys, hoping that like any of them would commit and we ended up actually having a good chance on two of them. Legion went with straight to low lock cheese. That's exactly what he did. Just filtered by Lois. That's what I'm guessing is what happened. So both ways, I think he played it smarter without a doubt. Said that we're only going down by 95. So if I put 700 on Greg Martin, we should very easily be able to pick him up is what I'm thinking. So I like players like this, Mike Brown. We're already gaining by not really doing anything. So if we offer him a scholarship and say like 300, which is a lot to invest, especially for a punter, but you know, he's a really good player. We, who doesn't want a punter? And he's a three star, so that will look good at the final class. So I think without a doubt, the play here is the scholarship and the 450 on Kevin Royal to try and secure him. Out of Arcadia, California, 6.5 as well. This is strong safety, keep in mind. 90 Excel, that's a big ass safety right there. In fact, I might want to put more points in him, if anything. Oh, I'm just hoping that this is going to be enough. I think we could have played it a little bit better, but this isn't the worst situation in the world. We just have to hope that the next time in week 11 when we come out of it, uh, there's a lot of yellow on our screen, if you catch my drift. Okay. All right, let's go. There's four more in the bag. <laughs> You'll love to see it. All right, let's do this. Let's make it happen. I'll see you on the other side. All right, so that was, a, that was a big splash right there. That was freaking awesome. We did pick up our two biggest guys that we wanted, JT Brown, David Jones, both five-star players. We just have to take what we can get at this point. For some reason, it looks like we're really struggling on a lot of players. Like, I don't know what's going on here. Oh, because he visited? Well, that's kind of us. We are gaining here, but it's like, like, are we really going to compete here, though? Like, he's kind of locked. We're behind by so much. Same as the punter. We'll go ahead and drop that down to maybe 300. That's a pretty considerable lead. Same thing for Justin Shaw. We can drop that down now, which is beautiful. I don't think Andrew Williams is worth it at this point. We're dropping down by 500 there. 700 on Herman Roberts. No, thank you. Gaining on Daniel Hoffman, the four-star receiver. There goes a scholarship. There goes 700. Is there a chance at Aaron? There is a chance. I think we kind of have to go for this. It's going to be a tough battle. I'm not sure if we can pull this back, but there definitely is a chance. He's not very recruited, so she'll be able to make something work there. We'll get rid of George Moss. We could come back in that battle, but the problem is we are 3,500 points away, and I just could not be bothered even trying in that department. Why don't we get the kicker? Why not? We already got ourselves a punter. Might as well secure ourselves a kicker while we're at it. That way we can do both, bro. There goes the Scully. There goes the four hundo. That is pretty much what we're rocking with. We've got our five stars. We've got some cheeky play. No, our class is really bad right now. But if we could secure these last guys here, we might be in a decent position to uh, win this. Who knows? I have a feeling Legion's got a lot of four stars. Does he have the five stars, though, is the real question. All right, so what is actually going on? Because I thought it would have said some more info potentially. Okay, everybody should be in the bag here. Like Daniel Hoffman should be in the bag. It's literally just a matter of him freaking committing. And I'm, I don't think it's going to be enough time. In the off season, it's going to be very difficult. We now have what, 9 to 20. So we have 11 prospects committed, signed, if you will, right at this second. And it looks like we have a potential 6, 7, maybe even here, including the punter. Uh, we should be able to get the middle linebacker. Tennessee shouldn't stay there. Daniel Hoffman's a four-star. 
a wide receiver, which is pretty, pretty cool. I don't know if low lock cheese is even going to be worth it. I guess I could just put on the most low lock guy ever. He went down a lot, but you know what? Whatever. It's a tackle. We haven't had one all freaking day. There you go. Maurice Ryan. Hopefully you want to commit, buddy. As for visits, we do have four visits. It's all on the bye week. Hopefully this is enough for Hoffman and Aaron White to just realize New Mexico is the place to be for them. And yeah, I mean, that's really pretty much it. I will catch you guys in recruiting. I don't know what Nitro is doing, but... Uh... All right, Crow, I'm done. All right, so am I. We are going straight to the offseason, I believe. Yep, so we got to go through the conference championship game. And then from there, we just sim all the way to recruiting and see what happens. Correct. Hopefully you don't get fired. I'm bowl eligible. <laughs> Ooh, nice. I also had a very good end of the season myself with three of my freshmen committing. Very happy to see that. How much did you pay him? Oh, I paid him everything. I mean, like money, like under the table. Oh, I mean, that's what I mean. I, I paid them literally everything that I had. <laughs> I don't have a house anymore. I don't have a car. Okay, I got you. So that's where your Corolla win. All right, are you at recruiting? I am at recruiting. Let's go in and see what's happening. Ooh. Do we even mute for this or are we just gonna talk through it and see, you know, what's going on? Uh, the, I think we should just cause I have a lot of people here, dude. Let's go ahead and say drop like, three and a half K into McKinley here. Five K into Aaron White since, you know, we do have the points to do so. The only reason I did eventually put Luke Rush on is in case we signed all of these guys right here. But because we didn't, uh, they're the priorities. He's just it. In fact, I might even just get rid of him. I don't even need him. But yes, we currently have what? From six to 20. So we have 14 players or 15 players right now. Hopefully, once we sign Aaron White and McKinley, uh, that should drill it home for us. But yeah, that is that is pretty much my board right there, fellas. That is it. You ready, Mato? Ready as I'll ever be. It's to signing day we go. Da, 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 da. What, what song was that? I, I don't know. I just made it up. <laughs> I got everyone that I wanted plus one more. When we click X here, it'll tell us if we're a top 25, top 5, number 1, etc. So you ready? We're going to click X together here. Let's do it. Three... Two, one. Okay, not bad. I'll take it. What was I it? I will take it. Top 25. Oh, I got a top five. Did I got a top, got a top five? five? Damn. I did get a Damn. top five. Damn. <laughs> this is going to be a debate, Crow, because I have a lot of gems. Okay. Well, that, that's fine. It's all up to the people. How many one or two stars did you have? I one signed two. one two star. I signed one two star. I also signed one two star, <laughs> but nobody cares about that. Let's move on. Three stars. I signed eight three stars. I signed 15 three stars. Ooh, shit. Okay, okay, big baller. All right, how many four stars did you sign? I signed five four stars. I signed eight four stars. Okay, and how many five stars did you sign, Mr. Crow? Two. Two. I signed zero. How many total recruits did you have? 19. I had 21. I guess because you have more players. You have two more players than me. You have way more right. three stars. You only have three less four stars. So you have five four stars still, which is a lot. But class but rank also does not take gems into account. We had a lot of gems in this class. So I'm very curious to see what you got going on. Do you mind sharing your screen? Hey, we, we both signed Mike Brown. <laughs> did we both get Mike Brown? Dude, he's a goon. You got Roderick Massey. I did not get Roderick Massey. We um, both got Daniel Hoffman. Oh, really? <laughs> nice. Yeah, we both got Daniel Hoffman. We both uh, got Matt Campbell. Matt Campbell, yeah. He was a pain in the butt, though, bro. He would not commit for the longest freaking time. Oh, really? Yeah, he was so difficult. He kept fighting, bro, <laughs> and I was like, I'm about to give up on him, honestly. These are the two guys that I got, though. JT Brown and David Jones. Both, they're my five stars right there. Both, uh, one's a Sounds quarterback, good. one's a running back, but technically one can play cornerback as well, and the other can play... Both can play quarterback. All right, All right gonna, you taking watch. a look at mine? Oh, my God. What the hell? <laughs> I had an 87 overall Juco tight end that I was going after, and I just lost him. If I had a locksmith, I would have gotten him 100%. What the hell? 83, 80... Yeah, because I've seen that. There were like 90 overalls and shit. How many Jucos do you have, though? A lot. Because I only... I don't have any Jucos. Six. Seven, because there's a 72 as well. I'm just I'm just One. pointing it out. I'm okay, just saying yeah. how many Jucos you got. That's all. Of the players that were gotten versus us, if we go down... I, okay, it right, I get it. Going. I get it. I get it. I was just curious. I just wanted to see the Jukos. That's all. Because when you take away five overall from the Jukos, that's kind of what they would be as a freshman. That's that's all I was saying, sure. bro. You know what the most important thing is, though? We both have the 85 punter. I think that is the right. redeeming factor right. here. We both have Mike 
freaking brown. Hey, bro, I would take your class. Not gonna lie, I would take. I would. I would confidently say I would take your class. No you know, cap. I would also probably say that I would take my class as well. But I think that having all those freshmen, and you know, you did get the number three class in the nation. Maybe that's kind of padded by the uh, the lower overall. Uh, like this lower than 65 guys. There's five of them there. It's really open to interpretation, you know So comment down below. Yes, we're very I, curious to see what you have to say Who do you think won this episode of recruiting wars with all the arguments that have been made? Well with that being said fellas, do not forget to show some love to Nitro. This has been absolutely amazing uh, I really like where this series is going on now. That was a lot of fun I like to even distributed finding the players that we both got etc but if you made it this far into the video fellas then you are the real mvp hope the rest of your day is awesome and from me personally i'm out Peace. sometimes i wonder can i breathe right underwater sometimes i wonder can i speak in outer space sometimes i wonder can i call upon a thunder